lot of people are going to be like, wow, I had no idea. Off the top tonight at 6, a lawsuit on behalf of Michigan parents claims that blood was stolen from their babies at birth. Since 1984, the state of Michigan has been collecting and storing blood in private, a nonprofit blood bank, and using it for medical research. Parents are supposed to give permission, but the lawsuit claims that these parents were not asked and that the practice is illegal. 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker learning more about this common practice that no one ever talks about. Yeah, there are about 5 million people whose blood is being held right now. And unless your parents opted out when you were born, your blood is in one of two banks that are in the state. One's in Lansing, the other is in Detroit. Yeah. yeah. In September, Philip Ellison and his wife welcomed into the world their son, Penn. <laughs> but he was born early and was placed in a neonatal unit. The second day we were there, the nurse shows up and hands me a form and says, hey, we need you to sign this to donate your son's blood to for research. And I, you know, as a parent who's now got a son in neonatal, it's my first son or my first child, I should say. Like, I'm not worried about donating blood at this point. I said, let's not worry about this. We'll deal with this later. And she said, oh, no, this isn't the blood that we're using. This is the blood we sent to the state. And I said, what blood did you send to the state? And that's when I discovered this. Ellison is also a lawyer. His wife's a professor. They took baby classes, read books. They thought they knew what to expect, but they never learned about Michigan Neonatal Biobank. I was just unhappy with the fact that I didn't have the opportunity to make that decision. When a child is born in Michigan, a blood sample is taken to help find rare but serious disorders. That's been happening since the late 60s. But since 1984, the state is taking extra blood and storing it in a private, nonprofit blood bank to test for future diseases. It also is sold for medical research. Ellison says he learned that bank also processed 22 law enforcement requests. Now, it's not known what those requests were for or if any blood was given out to law enforcement. The chair of the advisory board for the bank says that he's unaware of law enforcement having access to the blood and the Michigan Department of Health website says they don't give police access. There is a robust uh, informed consent process that was put in place by the state of Michigan uh, for the last, uh, gosh, at least eight years. Um, and um, so the parents uh, should have been provided uh, that uh, that paperwork. Now he says that he cannot confirm if the consent forms were signed for all of the blood that's at that blood bank. Now, if you would like to know if your child's blood is actually, if you would like to make sure that your blood child's blood is destroyed. There is a form that you can sign. We have a link to that at woodtv.com, along with more information on this topic. Reporting live in studio, Heather Walker, 24-Hour News 8.